songs in the night are just that. They're the times when, really, you don't have much to sing about. You really don't have all that much to talk about. As a matter of fact, you probably have a lot to cry about. And that's what Songs in the Night is about. It's not about your success stories. As a matter of fact, it's probably more about you failing than it is about you winning. You see, while it's good to hear the testimonies of men and women that overcome the odds, that have run the race, that have quote-unquote arrived at their destination, frankly, if you're in pain and suffering, you really don't care. As a matter of fact, one thing we'll be honest on Songs of the Night, we'll tell you when we just don't flat out give a damn. Because that's what you feel like sometimes. I know. I've been there. I have seen the face of suffering in the mirror of my own reflection. I have looked in my own eyes and found no spirit there at all. As a matter of fact, when I looked into the eyes of the person who was reflected in the glass that I peered into, I saw that my eyes smiled no more, and I had lost the joy of the Lord that was my soul. I wrote that in Exposition of a Human Being, and to this day, there is no doubt as to why or what I experienced at that time. For I had chosen, as I have said before, the way of suffering and not the way of praise. For in the scriptures we're told sometimes it's better to go in the house of mourning than the house of rejoicing. And there's a lot of people that won't understand what you're going through. And maybe you don't either. Maybe you think that you're supposed to accomplish some great task for God. Maybe you think that you're going to be some next new story that's going to be oh the wonder of it all but maybe you're not God still loves you as a matter of fact God is probably more attentive to the person who is suffering than the person who's passed through and come out the other side it's nice to be rejoicing and it's glorious to feel the praise but the Spirit of God and God himself as well as all the angels round about stand next to and watch while you endure the pain and the sorrows that have got hold of you. Even the very grasp of hell itself as it pulls and yanks and tries to take you to a place where you do not want to go. So many people will quote to you the false comfort of Psalm 23 by saying, Oh, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. No, they don't. And you know it as well as I do. There will be times where in your life, if you suffer, you'll be wanting drugs more than you want God. You'll be wanting relief more than you want salvation. You'll be wanting anything at all to take pain away because you will suffer greatly. God is in it. You'll go through it, but you will come out the other side. Songs in the night are for you. I called upon him, but he gave me no answer. Song of Solomon 5.6 the Lord, when he has given great faith, has been known to try it by long delays and no answer at all. He has suffered his servants' voices to echo in their ears as if from a brazen sky, as though they were crying out to no God at all, as though he could not hear it. They have knocked at the golden gate, but it has remained unmovable as though it were rusted upon its hinges. And though they see that they are there, they are aware that no one is answering. Like Jeremiah, they have cried, Thou hast covered thyself with the cloud that our prayer 
should not pass through and you feel as if God is not there. Thus have true saints continued long in patient waiting without reply. Not because their prayers were at not vehement or they did not care or cry out, nor because they were unaccepted, but because it so pleased Him who is your sovereign Lord and Master, and who gives according to His own pleasure, if it pleases Him to bid our patience exercise itself, that He should do as He wills with His own, then it is His own will be done. For if He has done the same to His own Son, then He has honored you with the privilege of being likened unto Jesus. No prayer is lost. Praying breath has never been spent in vain. There is no such a thing as prayer unanswered or unnoticed by God. God sees all. God knows all. God hears all. God answers all. In His time, in His will, in His way, in His purpose. And it's by His design. Some things that we cannot count as refusals or denials are simply delays. God will withhold His own answer according to His will and not mine to be done. Jesus sometimes delays His help that He may try our faith and quicken our prayers. The boat may be covered with waves and He sleeps on, but He will wake up before it sinks. He sleeps, but He never oversleeps, and there are no too lates with God. Though you may suffer, and though you may be in pain, though you may cry out or you may be in despair, though you may think you're at the last straw and you've already broken that one, and you have no hope and hope has flown its wings and left you completely alone, God is there. When you cannot see the night that sparkles with delight and all the light seems to be gone and you cannot hear even the crickets chirp or the birds sing when the only thing you feel is the pounding of the pain that's pressing in on you constant God is there and when all hope is gone and despair has reached out and grasped your heart and taken you to the place where you want to die and you're willing to take that one last step to leave this life behind. God isn't there. Jesus stands there. And Jesus wept. Songs in the night are for you. You will pass through. You will know. God. For the Lord our God give song to the night. Even when no man asks, and when no man knows, you will know.